With me in the studio to talk about back pain is Professor Karin Büttner Jans. She's an orthopedic surgeon and a specialist in spinal conditions and a two time Olympic gold medalist. Here she's at the 1972 Games. And then she went on to become a spinal disease specialist and helped to develop the artificial intervertebral disc. What a life. Hello and welcome to the studio. Hello. Hi. Are there certain kinds of personalities um, that tend to have back problems? Yes, in my experience, depressive personalities are very close to the back pain. And that means that the combination of the physicians who are responsible to treat the brain and the orthopedic surgeons have uh, to work together, that it makes sense that they combine their knowledge and their experience. And, and is there a way that you can personally influence the possibility that you will become back pain over life? Yeah, you can try to avoid it. Uh, of course, there are some genetic factors, but the environment has a big influence. Depends on your uh, eating, what you have for nutrition and what you are doing during your life as um, profession and what kind of physical activities, sport activities you are carrying out. Um, there are a lot of influences on your body and on your back pain, if you are getting it or not as well. Many patients come into my office uh, with lower back pain and I can't really find something. And the x-ray is normal, the MRI scan is normal. Is it then always a psychosomatic disease? No, no, no. Uh, there are other opportunities too especially in the early stages of degeneration. You cannot see anything in X-rays, in MRI and CT scans. That means the patients um, should be recognized that they have real pain coming from their spine. And uh, that means also uh, don't forget to treat them not only on their brain, also on the back. <laughs> okay, coming to treating back pain, there are different forms of back pain. One is acute back pain and one is chronic pain. So how would you treat chronic back pain? Um, to treat chronic back pain is much more difficult, yes. Um, sometimes um, they have um, continuous um, medication, painkillers, and um, very often these patients are not anymore able to find back to their normal life because um, they, are, yeah, they are very depressed during their life. But it should be tried to find what is the reason of their pain, um, listening to them, what are, they are saying, where the pain is coming, uh, coming from, from their point of view, then to find out um, during the clinical examination what is the main point and also the findings as X-ray, MRI, CT scan. And then, if you're able, um, or if someone is able to have a combination of physicians to make the decision for this patient, not only one is enough in my experience. And we just saw in the report the woman who had a slipped disc. So, so what are the first ways to treat a slipped disc? If there is pain, not every patient with a slipped disc has really pain. Um, first issue is if there is back pain or also leg pain. In the kind of uh, leg pain, some kind of um, injections are very helpful. But the and pain is radiating from the slip disc. It's, it's not in the leg, it's just radiating from the yes. spine. Yeah, okay. Yes, mm -hmm. coming from, yes, mm -hmm. thank you for your explanation. The disc prolapse um, has some influence on the nerve root. Mm -hmm. There is some inflammation and that's why there's a leg pain. And uh, there are injections very helpful. Mm -hmm. okay. yes. Just stay with us. We have a second part of this talk coming up.